Hello, everyone. We're here to discuss pioneers of modern education, specifically Jean Jacques Rousseau, but we're going to be calling him um, with his English pronunciation. So we're, we're going to be calling him Rousseau all through this, throughout this presentation. Before getting into the technical details about what his contributions to the great education field was, we're gonna get to know him a little better. The group members are myself, Monica Fredo, Aaron Arengo, Fernando Maidana, and Betalam Rojas. Born in Geneva, Switzerland, June 28, 1712, Rousseau was one of the most influential figures of the Enlightenment. He lived through a time where education was directly a synonym of power and privilege. He was raised on a humble household with his dad being a watchmaker and his mother passing away only a few days after his birth. As of this, he did not have proper access to the primary years of education. So it is believed that because of this background, he chose a path where education would, would not have to be a privilege anymore for all those children like him. He got to be known after he made his first publication titled Discourse on the Arts and Sciences. In here, he discussed whether the sciences and arts had some influence on people's morals, which he thought that far from setting customs, they actually pushed human beings from being successful. Another of his important words was the one titled The Social Contract. Here he speaks about freedom and equality between men under the eyes of the state. With this, he shares some elements to better understand his ideal of education being open to the public. By discussing his idea of education once more, his most famous and treasured work is the one called A Meal or an Education, published in 1762, where he presents the premise on men following their natural life process and by teaching children what they are supposed to do, not utilizing school facilities, but giving them the opportunity of expressing their own feelings and um, get to be interested in their own field of interest, not leaving behind the crucial areas. Besides all this, Rousseau contributed to the birth of new cognitive theories and established a whole new pedagogy. Now we're going to move on to the principles of teaching and learning. The principles of teaching and learning. The goal of Rousseau's education is to create an learning environment that allows the children to innate natural goodness, which rely on sensation and experience with the nature. How he achieved this? He mentioned that children should be taught by their experience and not verbal lessons. The children should, should learn from what they experience. Children should not be imposed with lessons. He expresses his ideas by the following quote, we should not teach children the science, but give them a taste of them. What this means is that we should teach children experiences and not just the verbal lessons. Now we move on to education and schooling. Okay, so in the course of history, the theories and ideas of many philosophers as well as thinkers helped to shape education into what it is today. Needless to say, um, the structure and concepts of education is continued to be influenced and shaped by the ideas of many contemporary thinkers. Uh, Rousseau's theory of education emphasized the importance of expression to produce a well-balanced free-thinking child, as previously mentioned. He believed that if children are allowed to develop naturally without constraints imposed on them by society, they will develop towards their fullest potential, both educationally and morally. This natural development should be child-centered and focused on the, on the needs and experiences of the child at at each stage of development. Now we move on to the influence in today's teaching and learning. 
Change Driver's Cell Influence on Today's Teaching and Learning. One of his objectives was to create free thinking children. By this, he used naturalism. He thought that everything that was natural was good by nature and that it was society which corrupted it. For example, he thought that a child should be exposed to only nature to reach their fullest potential. Also, his methodology followed his ideal curriculum, which included subjects such as painting, music, languages, math, among others, which are subjects that are still present in nowadays curriculums in various schools around the world. Also, he wanted to create a method in which critical thinking was the main focus because he wanted to create free-thinking children and therefore they should question ideas that are presented. They do not just accept any concepts, they want to, they want to reflect on it. Also, as a result, Rousseau wrote many books and many writings and in these writings he proposed all of his ideas and therefore, he is one of the most known authors of the Enlightenment. We've prepared a modernized representation of Rousseau's ideals, and we made a meme describing them. But before we leave you with it, we would really like to thank you all for your time and attention, and wish you a great rest of the day.